Hey and thanks for tuning in. My name is Mohammed X and today we're going to be talking about an automated uh, Solana contract scanner from the company called Sec3 which was formerly known as Soteria which is a which is an auditing firm that specializes in Solana contracts. So as usual let's start off by talking a little bit about myself. My name is Mohammed X and I'm into security stuff. I like games and unfortunately getting wrecked every now and then. So what is going to be the actual contents of this particular uh, tutorial? We're going to talk a little bit about uh, Sec3 or also known as Soteria, their tools. We're, going to, we're also going to do a little overview about Solana in general. What are the common Solana vulnerabilities? And this thing called the SVEs, which is the Solana Vulnerabilities and Exposures, which is like a compilation of various vulnerabilities and other uh, weaknesses in the code that has been identified by Sec3 or Soteria and they, and they have made a nice list of examples of the particular vulnerability and the code examples which I will show later. We'll do a quick overview of the, of the Solana contract in general. It's not, this is not going to be a technical deep dive but uh, mostly an overview. Then we, we are going to look at the Solana ecosystem which is quite vibrant and has grown a lot since, uh, the, since uh, last year. Then uh, we're going to look at the Solana tokens performance in general and then I'll do the actual of the automated auditor. So moving forward, Sec3 was formerly known as Soteria. They are a Rust auditing firm uh, which has been used by many of the Solana projects and the focus or uh, and the contents of this particular presentation has been derived from their excellent blog where they write analysis of various types of uh, hacks that have have occurred and other Solana related uh, issues I do encourage you to check them out and the tool which is going to be in discussion as I mentioned earlier is also uh, has been made by sec3 so the tool which we're going to be talking about specifically is going to be their automated Solana contract scanner now a disclaimer for you know using any kind of static uh, analyzer is that its output often does not take into consideration the entire context of the program what I mean by that is sometimes when you use the static analyzer it will identify an issue in a specific code block but what happens is that the mitigation for the vulnerability that was identified in that particular function block sometimes would be done further down the line so my whole point of that statement is that when you use any kind of static analyzer even such as this to understand that it is primarily for drawing a baseline from which you will then further uh, make your plan or uh, make your auditing plan so uh, then going forward uh, we'll look at the, the this particular this you know compact diagram which i have got fra from the internet uh, goes into detail about you know the capabilities of solana in general as you can see that the important thing from solana is, is their spl library in the library they have a token you can do token swapping and lending and all of these other things uh, also to note that uh, the entire solana community in general is very helpful and there are tons and tons of uh, important learning resources uh, resources which you can look into for understanding the capabilities of this particular chain in this slide i have grouped the well-known uh, common solana vulnerability them into these four major groups which are missing checks arithmetic errors logical errors and various account problems and within them you can see these various uh, issues that happen in each one of these groups now the time when I, I had made this diagram it was before Soteria went under their change from Soteria into sec3 and I was still using their uh, free scanner uh, which is actually uh, hosted on docker hub it is not the focus of the tutorial uh, then going forward, um, yes, so the auditing firm from their experience have compiled a various list. They have compiled a list of well-known vulnerabilities which can be found in Solana contracts in general and they have named it SVEs or Soteria Vulnerabilities and, Ex and Exposures. They have identified 40 issues which they have come across during their auditing procedures and again it's on their website and as you can see over here they are very well listed uh, there are 440 of them and they they've assigned number to it they've given a description and they've given an example of what the vulnerable code actually looks like repository by the way is uh, made by this particular person and uh, these are the common 
uh, the 10 most common vulnerabilities which are found in Solana contracts in general and I can I encourage you to look at them it's called you know C level attacks and this is the the root uh, project folder so they're called the SVEs so coming back to it let me just open that up one more time so here are the common list of uh, vulnerabilities uh, I personally have used the scanner to identify this particular vulnerability in one of the projects in this particular slide I'm giving a general overview of what a Solana contract looks like not the actual code but generally the high level diagram as you can see as I mentioned earlier the fundamental difference well one of the differences between Solana and Ethereum is in the way in which their contracts are written the contracts are written in this language called Rust and the Rust contracts get compiled down to this thing called the bytecode similarly how Ethereum contracts when they're compiled uh, gets uh, compiled down to EVM bytecode and then you know they get uh, they, they, they get deployed onto the Solana network and the rest of this you see they have various SDKs and uh, th this is pretty much the same as how Ethereum works this slide is going over the Solana ecosystem as you can see it's quite vibrant and they're growing very fast they have a lot of support from all of their uh, backers and as you can see they have it in every major area of DeFi uh, they also have infrastructure stuff for in Solana NFTs various tools uh, oracles etc and what is of interest is they also have stator labs stator labs is a project a very interesting project from Solana staking mechanisms they have infrastructure for incorporating staking mechanisms into your project this slide is specifically for all you all you degens out there uh, f uh, you can see the Solana token was doing quite well you know la uh, quite doing quite well last year and then in the crypto crash of 2022 as you can see it has quite gone down but I'm certain that uh, the Solana token will once again rise to its all-time highs and myself you know I'm diamond hand and uh, now we are going to actually do the demonstration of their automatic auditor so once you open up their website uh, you have to first you know register with them once you have regist registered with them this is what your dashboard will actually look like important things to note over here are you know the projects which have already been run I've done some so I have ran this on some projects earlier you can see your I'm on the free plan and you get 10 credits to start with I also just show you this is what their actual upgrade plan looks like what is important is the difference between the free and the paid plans is the number of SVEs or the Solana vulnerability and exposures which it can detect and obviously the paid ones can do it more as you can see the pricing structure is mostly for funded projects so in order to actually start the automated scanner we click here on the new task and you know the what you have to fill just fill out a name once you fill out the name you can give the URL of the actual repository or you can upload it from local so loads a variety of compression formats to actually upload the entire pro entire repository or the entire project as white hats as usual I would go into immunify and look at their bounties which are available we'll have a look at the jet protocol which is active at the moment and I will look uh, and we we'll look at for their assets which are in scope and it says over here their repository is, is, is in scope and this particular repository I will put it and I will insert the URL of the repository over here once I create once I click on create task it will import it and run the analysis now I'm not going to actually do that because then I have only five credits left so once that has been done if you look at it this is what the report actually looks like so it gives you a nice summary summary of all the issues which it has found and when you click on view full report now this uh, this drills down into the exact areas from where they have found the actual vulnerabilities so let's look at the vulnerability it has found in programs hyphen jet please note that uh, most of the vulnerabilities that have been identified have already been identified in their uh, in their previous audits so I'm very comfortable actually uh, making this tutorial uh, so let's have a look at uh, one of the critical issues of interest here is a critical issue so first it shows you the critical issue then it uh, also gives you a detailed explanation the detailed explanation will actually reference to an example of the insecure code which exists as I mentioned earlier it is referencing this particular github repository which has been made by this particular person uh, and who has actually identified 10 common vulnerabilities which exist in Solana contract so over here as you can see the reference it has done for for this critical issue which it has found 
the reference is that it is you know a signer authorization problem and you can actually look at what the insecure code actually looks like so once you get this then you can use it for your further analysis so uh, the other important thing to note is that since this is not the pro version you can see it does not let you see all of the issues that lets you see uh, you know go a good amount of issues that should give you enough amount of value uh, also what's interesting to note is if we go back you are also able to download the entire report in this SARIF format. So the SARIF format uh, is basically a standard format which has been proposed by Microsoft, which is a static analysis results interchange format that shows uh, that lists out what is the what is the output of the various static analysis tools now I, I personally don't use this I've, I've never used the SARIF you can see over here there is a in the VS code uh, marketplace they have a serif extension so you are able to actually view this particular file once it has been downloaded so the reason for that is since this is an online tool if you download the report you'll have the report locally so uh, in conclusion uh, this is the sec3 automated uh, solana uh, contract auditor i highly recommend you go through their sves as, as i mentioned earlier which is in their blog the solana vulnerabilities and exposures if you're a bug hunter such as myself or an enthusiast you'll find this of uh, you'll have a lot of value from actually going through this and to enhance your bug bounty your bug hunting game. Thank you very much for listening and thank you for listening and I and I leave you to it.